Hi, and welcome back to Animation Deconstructed. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Shulgan Solvis, and I break down and teach animation and special effects techniques to help you become a better animator. Let's take a look at what we are going to be creating today. So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to bring any object or logo through smoke. There's no 3D in this effect, so as always, I will have the files on my website for you to download and follow along. I have the smoke video right over here, which is just some stock footage. And I'm going to create a new composition. Just to unlock this for now. 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 30 frames per second. And duration, we only need about... 14 seconds for this. Let's just set up the scene, right click new solid, going to click OK and say gradient ramp, add that, change this to a radial ramp, and bring this down here and take that up there. And in the video, I just had a kind of blue-black gradient at the back, so I'm just going to change that quickly. If you want the exact blue that I have, it is 00121F. And if we scroll in, you'll see that we get some banding over here. The easy way to fix that is just to take this ramp scatter right up and you'll see that that starts to disappear. Next step is just to bring in our stock smoke footage. I'm going to change this to screen. And I just want to add some blue to this. So let's use the CC toner effect. Double click to add it. And we're just going to change this mid-tone to a blue. So I've chosen one already. 407, FD, and 6. Looks pretty good. Let's just drop our logo on top of that. You'll see that we're not actually sticking it behind the smoke. We are putting it on top and we will deal with hiding it behind the smoke in just a second let's get the look right i want to add a little glow so there's a slight drop shadow on this I'm going to take the threshold right up take the radius up i'm also going to change this to be a b colors and i'm just going to spot these dark blues. And just take that down a bit. Just need to play with these settings a bit until you're happy with the look. The other thing that was happening in the video is that this was a scaling over time, so I'm going to move over to about four seconds. This is where the logo was starting. Let's move this over to there. Press the S key, keyframe this at, let's say, about 90. Move over to 14 seconds, and let's just take that over to about 110. The trick to actually getting this to hide behind the smoke is to use the video above as a Luma inverted mat. But we just need to change this with some exposure. So I'm just going to drop that onto the video. And let's move over to about 5 when this will start fading out. 
The only two that I'm going to be adjusting is the actual exposure and the gamma correction. So let's just take this to about, you can see what's happening here. We're actually blowing it out. So about two point, see one five and keyframe that. And the gamma correction, we're going to blow this up as well. Just taking this right up to about six. Let's say 6.2. And don't worry about these hard edges, the logos around here, and we will get rid of that in a moment. I'm also going to keyframe that, press U to bring it up in the timeline. Move over to, let's see, let's actually change it to the Luma mat now. So with the logo selected, change it to Luma inverted mat. Go to about nine, I think. And the exposure, let's bring this right down to 0.54. And I like to offset these two just so that you get a bit of a different feel as the time and duration goes on. So the gamma correction, I'm going to take all the way down to zero. Going to easy ease these and just see how this looks. Okay. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded when there are new videos. Um, we're just going to add some finishing touches to this. Want to make sure everything's working. Actually looks pretty good. You guys know how to fade in and fade out by now if you've watched my other videos. I've also selected a video for you on the left side of the screen if you want to take a look at that and carry on learning. Until next time.